What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking? Back in the reaction video world. And today, what we have today, my brothers and sisters, what we have today, my brothers and sisters, is some more Bill Walton videos. I've done a handful of Bill Walton videos, especially a what if video, because uh, he's one of the biggest what if players of all time, no question about that. Um, so this one was recommended to us by none other than Dutch T. 8354 again appreciated Dutch T for finding these videos for me to put together in a compilation much respect to you So she dug up a handful of videos that we will watch in succession The first one is one about Bill Walton the sixth man for the Boston Celtics The second video will be about Bird and Walton playing together and then the last video is what Dutch T says is considered Bill Walton's best game as a Celtic. She says he only played 16 minutes, but put up 11 points, eight rebounds, seven blocks, wow, and one steal. Meanwhile, Bird posted 22, 12, and seven. This would be January 22nd, 1986 versus LA. All right, so with no further ado, let's get into it. Then comes the most unusual six man in NBA history. Did that just present arms this fool? <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> You heard what I said. Bill Walton was the unusual six man in NBA history because no team in the history of this league has ever brought a seven footer off the bench to alter games in the manner that Bill Walton did. He is the most, the greatest seven, this backup, quote unquote, aha, backup center the league has ever known in that season of 85 86. Giving the Celtics the greatest one two center punch in the history of the game. Uh, when he would come in the game, and if it happened to be against the backup center, he and Larry almost teased them. It was almost like they were playing a private game of their own. Uh, they, they ran a give and go better than has been run in this league ever. Give and go. I didn't say pick and roll. I said give and go. And you said, what's that? Uh, what, what's so tricky about a give and go? Well, after Bird passed the ball to Walton, he made his cut. No one knew what Bill Walton was going to do. The timing was altered. Sometimes he hit him right away. Sometimes he waited until he got at the, at the uh, right side of the basket. Sometimes he waited until Bird had crossed over to the left side and hooked one over his shoulder. He maybe sometimes bounced past. He maybe, you, he maybe faked once and gave it the other time. You didn't know what he was going to do. They couldn't stop that, that, that uh, give and go. Greatest give and go the NBA's ever seen. And they were together a, a priceless pair. And Walton, um, surprisingly that year, played 80 out of 82 games. Yeah. Considering they said he couldn't even play anymore, the doctors. Made all the practices, all the two a days when they did two a days. The only time in his career he ever played anywhere near that that, that, that much. And the only time he was injured, uh, he broke a nose and he was sick once. And um, uh, other than that, uh, uh, he, he managed to avoid injuries to his limbs, which is remarkable. It was a gift from the gods and a gift for the Celtics and a gift for Bill Walton and a gift for the fans and a gift for basketball everywhere to watch Bill Walton perform, particularly with Larry Bird. Uh, it didn't last. He got hurt in the next year or before the preseason even started, supposedly riding the exercise bike, played two ga 10 games that year and ended with a dismal performance in the, say, 87 playoffs. Sadly, he went out. Bill Walton, though, identifies as a Boston Celtic. He won that championship in Portland, but 
you ask him what's the proudest, happiest year he ever spent, he will tell you it was 85, 86 with the Boston Celtics. 27 years ago, the Celtics gave me a chance, a chance to be a part of something special. And it has changed my life immeasurably. But what I learned here was so much greater than anything that I possibly imagined. He loved every aspect of being a Celtic. Uh, so he was the, the sixth man, unlike we've, one we've ever seen. No, I'll repeat, no sixth man has ever altered the game in the manner that Bill Walton did. Walt on the right side, off the glass, and Joe! Bill Walton makes it a 28 point lead! Here comes to Seasting. To win for two! It'd be cool and just Bill Walton. My wife, Lynn, said to him, yeah, Kevin's got your picture. I had a picture of you on his wall. And I'm like, oh, jeez. You know, I'm like, yeah, I did. OK. I, I, you know, he's like one of my idols, you know. We all worshipped Walton. Walton was a, a legend to us. I had no idea what it was going to be like. I knew the basketball would be good. I didn't know how good. It seems like it was yesterday. And the joy and the happiness and the optimism and the hope that was brought back into my life. Not really by anything that I had done other than the choice to come back here. I, I doubt that we'll ever see anything like that again. I am still geeked up over the fact that they presented arms as well. I used to serve in the military. I was prior Air Force and um, <laughs> I just got a PTSD. It was like PTSD when I would present arms. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Don't take me back to them days. No, I I enjoyed my time in the Air Force. All things considered, it did a life. It did a lot for my life and presented me with a lot of great opportunities to be successful. So, uh, I think that's the best decision I've ever made in my entire life was to go into the armed forces. No question about it. Um, hell, if I would have stayed in, I'd be retiring soon. To be honest with you, I'd be getting closer to my twenty year mark. Had I stayed in. The little regrets. <laughs> but, um, you know, that says a lot what Bill Walton said. His time with the Boston Celtics as a role player and winning a championship was more special to him than his time with the Portland Trailblazers. Even that one year with the Trailblazers where they did win the championship and he was finals MVP and the best player on the floor. You know, most people would say that moment meant more to me because, you know, I was the guide on, I was the leader, but that speaks volumes to the Boston Celtics organization and the players that he played with and the camaraderie and the, the aura that encapsulated that franchise. So you know, I, I thought that was very telling that he would say that considering he won the finals MVP and championship with the Portland Trailblazers. All right, next video. I love Larry Bird. We know that, Bill. And I love Tara Haute. Okay. But playing All basketball straight. with Larry Bird was like singing with Jerry Garcia. It was like talking whoa, science whoa, with whoa, whoa. Albert Einstein. Uh, all, all, it was all, like all. talking history with Eugene Debs. Yeah. It was just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. We might as well get comfortable over here, because. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I love Larry Bird. We don't. How could they pause? pause that whole ISU uh, situation that we just watched? I actually have a reaction video to that entire that entire presentation. I will put a link to that video in the description of this video if you haven't checked it out and you want to check it out. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that video, by the way. Bill Walton was was wild. Possibly make him better by adding the best passing center the game has ever known, Bill Walton. Uh, I think the best thing he brings is he knows how to play chess and he's teaching me how. That could be taken figuratively as well as literally. For Walton has shown the Celtics big men how to play the intellectual game. And in doing so, he has helped every player on the team. Of course, Walton refuses to be pinned with any credit. Yeah, the whole idea is when you're guarded by two guys, somebody else has got to be open. And the, and the key is to find that guy, get him the ball, get him the ball in good rhythm, in good position, so that he can just catch it and shoot away. And uh, we, we practice shooting a tremendous amount, open spot shooting, and we've got some of the very, very best in the league on our team. Uh, you know, led by Larry Bird. And laid it down along the, his leaper. Bird got back, but Long had enough for the momentum to go up over him. Good job by the rookie. 
Now Walton working on Lambeer. Beautiful pick and roll around oh, the third with first leg. Oh, is that pretty. Oh, boy. Walton, such a great passer. Bird, Bill Walton business on the pick and roll. See, Walton's going to come through. Oh, no, that's not the play. Okay, that's that one. Uh, yeah, that's the play. Watch this. Give and go. See, Tapuka made the mistake of... At 53 to 50. That's his average, by the way, is 18. So he can relax the second. Beautiful. Give and go. Roll by Bird and Walton, and Bird gets fouled, and he'll be at the line. Foul is going to be called on Danny Brains. When you've got the nine defense... The move my dad taught me early. Taught me about the give and go. The ball. That's what you see Bird doing there. Don't go to the ball, because that's the... Looping in the wall. Bill looking to rub him off and does. Well, Ron Anderson, you turn your head, and you don't do that on Bill Walton and Larry Bird because they put it right by. I think that Davy Wall was trying to do at this ball club was create offense, fast break offense, change the rhythm. Oh, nice. <laughs> really nice. Well, Jeff Turner, welcome to Bill Walton. Look at Bird, that little smile on his face. Look at that basket now, banging hard for offensive rebounds. Walt began to work on the rookie turn. Good move by Bird. Ricky Johnson. I'd say he's as good as you're going to get. Redmond is going to post up for Cat. Now it goes to Walton. Bird going back door. Gets the ball back from Walton. Count it and a foul. <laughs> and old Blue Fingers caught it too. That was not an easy pass to handle. That had a little jet fuel attached to it. Watch this. And Bird with his hands in a perfect position right there. And before, you know, right at the letters. Something like this, but not a bad idea. Walton hits him back door and no, says Mel Whitworth. And the foul before. Nice play. And a give and go. Yeah, that, that was a nice, that was a nice play. Pass off, touch pass back. Sprints into his spot. Goes right into his move. I like that. Bullet pass. Walton for two. Beautiful pass by Burr. Aware of the, uh, I guess the media press has been on his case. Oh, well. Look at that. Wow. As soon as Bird got the double team, he flipped it over his head to Walton for two. Talk about Bill Walton the coming off your bench, that bro. He's shown us in the past. Bird has Louis Orr on him, finds Walton with a great up, faking two. So Triple well. double for Bird. He big smile on his face as he came back down. Twins. They just, you know, they just play little games out there. Well, it's great oh, basketball yeah. because it's fundamental yeah. basketball. Again, Larry Bird going without the ball. He comes off of the Walton pick. Okay, now he's going to take Lewis Orr back. Defense is going to try to help out, and you see, just as soon as James Bailey went over to help out, seven. I can see why this happens in last place now. That the offense is uh, is completely non-existent. It's just schoolyard one-on-one basketball. Bird killing that pass right there. Plays like that. Wow, uh, has intelligent direction behind almost everything they do, and then when that breaks down, they go to the individual moves. With Golden State, it's just the opposite. There it is. Walton pick creates a trap. Look at that between the legs to uh, to Walton. Oh, Bird is something else. They really were a great tandem. They really were. But honestly, at the same time, you know, Bird, Mikel, Bird, Cornbread, Bird, Parrish. <laughs> Bird, another viable big is a great combo. But especially Walton with his phenomenal playmaking and passing ability paired with Larry Bird's phenomenal playmaking and passing ability. And each of them uh, can move, create space, and finish so that 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 gives it a whole nother dynamic <laughs> it's like you really don't know you don't know what's coming from which player because they both can do a handful of things and this guy's coming off your bench Whew. all right let's get into uh what they consider bill walton's 
best game as a Celtic. Turn this up a bit. Kareem on the weak side with the block against Mikhail. Now the reason Lucas was on Mikhail at that time is because when they come on the break, the first big man down will pick the other big man up as Kareem makes good timing on that one to knock it out of bounds. Now you see Kareem is back on Mikhail. Danny Ames, the man that Bill was talking about. Of course. Danny didn't score in the last game that the Celtics played against Atlanta. First time all season that happened as Magic Johnson gets his first. Three-pointer, Byron Scott. Count it. So the two men we talked about at the head of the shirt worthy. Larry Bird. An open Larry Bird shot. Well, the way Larry's been shooting out of bounds, but I just, it's, it's um, U24. I'm baffled when it doesn't Good go ball in. Move and find Ames, 19 feet wide open. Danny was out before the game practicing his shooting, and it seems a shot that takes it out of bounds and gets it in play. Worthy didn't bother Bird. Bird's got four. Boston by four against three. Good play by Magic Johnson. And another good play by Magic Johnson. Worthy. And another good play by Magic Johnson. It's at five. Three. It's at one. And Kareem. Gets a break. Walton gets a block. And Kareem is out of bounds. Mm, Walton putting that pressure on that boy. Worthy and Bird. Five on the shot clock. Dennis Johnson. Good follow-up tip. Great pass and play. Hustles with his four on the shot clock, three on the shot clock, one, and they'll not get it off. Well, they say that it was a good shot. Well, Robert saw that he was off balance, took advantage of it as we come back to live action. And Bill Walton. Nice left, left hand. Move boy, giving Kareem that work. Bill's both the offensive and defensive ends during this last run of the Celtics when they've been nine and one since Christmas. Cup check, muscles in, Walton blocks. Good <laughs> that was Mitch. Three against three. <laughs> Green and Johnson going to the scorer's table. Larry Bird to McHale. Pass. Count it. Brought all the defenders in. That call seems to have, uh, give the Celtics a lift. They were going to call goaltending, I believe. Let's watch the play again as it evolves. Walton to Bird. Bird with a great pass on the drive as he draws the traffic. McHale goes up, lays it in, and Earl Strom has it out. Here come the Celtics. They've got three against one. Carlisle, Parrish to Seasting. Seasting had a nice, nice touch. First two. Larry Bird with a great pass. That and ball Parrish has eight points. Tough check. He's staying to the bench and Danny Ainge back in for Casey Jones as he now has his starting lineup back in the night. Kareem had not a clue. Kareem off balance. Continuing with the poor shooting as Bird gets another rebound. DJ. Timeout. Los Angeles. That's a little hezzy there by DJ. Baseline. Lucas is back in as well for Los Angeles. DJ. DJ was 12. DJ is such a great player, man. Mikhail tracks it down. Type of guy I want on my team. Look at that. Larry Bird. Bird with eight. Robert Harris. 12 for Robert. Here he is. We're inside of two minutes to play here in the first half. Lakers a little trapping. Mikhail. Black hole, baby. <laughs> knew he was getting that up. You knew Mikhail was getting that shot up. Giving Boston another opportunity on that turnover, and Danny Ainge takes advantage of it. 20 second timeout. I bring Pat a little discussion because they have to be very careful. Both teams throughout the course of the season have been great inside ball clubs. Nice cut. Worthy takes it home. A little breakdown defensively on the part of the Celtics that time, and James Worthy only on the board. This time on the offensive end. Larry Bird, three That's pointer. money. Count it. Stroke. Bird with 13. He's the 7 of 15. 
Larry Bird. Wide, wide open. open. You can't give that man that much time. 15 for Larry. Larry Bird again wide open, and they have better find a way to get on Larry Bird. He's starting right the fact that you got to ask somebody to get on Larry Bird is quite funny. Certain players, I don't, I don't give a damn what's happening on the other side of the court. You better keep a body attached. Great pass, nice play by Walton. Or if you're gonna decide to float, you better know you can get back. Check inside Walton with another block, his fourth of the game. In a timely manner. Five seconds to play in the third quarter. Green gambled and was lucky to get away with it as Walton Rebound. was inside and takes it home. I love it. I love just going up strong with it and dunking it. A determined Bill Walton. Walton. Nice touch, man. Eight race in the background, getting ready to come into the ball game as he goes to the scorer's table. Alley oop, green. Give me Walton that. Give me that. Eating out here. It's the block party. Seasting has such a nice stroke, man. Jerry Seasting has seven. <laughs> Yo, Walton is not playing around, bro. Yeah, yeah, that face by Bill Walton. How often do you see Bill Walton looking like, give me that, boy? Timeout, Lakers. Robert Parrish. Looks like Walton might have been uh, on the rim with ball pending, but he gets another tip in with another rebound. Good cut from McGee. Walton Give me that. Eat him. And he's upset that he didn't get the rebound. Look at him. Look at Bill Walton. And a standing ovation again as he goes to the bench with McHale entering. Bird in the game. Oh, he's got a starting lineup with Johnson and Ainge in there. The hell? Golly, what a left-handed scoop hook. Whatever you want to call that. Bill Walton was a beast, man. And I've, I've said that in my previous Bill Walton videos. Like, so for me, it's always a pleasure, you know, rewatching this stuff and watching new highlights. But shoot, I had seen enough of Bill Walton before me learning about actually how much of a beast this guy was. Um, it's monster, man. Monster. Giving, giving Kareem Abdul-Jabbar hell on the low block. Hell. Even blocking his sky hook from behind. Give me that. It's like it's hard. It's hard to reach. You know. It's like I ain't. Got, I'm gonna get it before it gets to the apex. Give me that. Snatch it. He's a big guy. The one's a big guy, but very skilled. Very, very, very skilled. Like I said, arguably the greatest what if story of all time. Especially considering that we've seen him get to the highest mountaintop and then injuries derail him after that. Right. You got a lot of what if players where they never got to get to that mountaintop, but we saw Wilton get to that. Wilton. We saw Walton get to the mountaintop, you know, stake his flag. Who knows what his career would have looked like, how many more championships he could have won as a number one option. But, you know, I'm glad he found happiness. I'm glad the Celtics gave him a chance, despite the doctor being like, F out of here. And, you know, he had to have what he said, the how his time with the Boston Celtics, how it changed his life. He said it was indescribable. I believe him. Just how he speaks about Bird, how he speaks about the Celtics organization after his basketball career, especially. It's nothing but love. Shout out to Bill Walton, man. It's a pleasure. Pleasure watching you commentate. Pleasure watching you play. So, y'all, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about Bill Walton. Love to hear your opinion. Shed some light on me, if you will. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Stay notified. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.